Hey y'all, it's your girl D Maria Reacts, and I am back with another one. Uh, I've got a, another reaction to a song by Tom McDonald. It's called Snowflakes. This is my very first time hearing it. I don't even know what the subject matter is. Um, so I want to share my reaction with you all. Thank you so much for coming back. And, uh, but anyway, uh, this is a few minutes long. Um, oh, what I want to do is go in. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. So I'm going to cue it up. Let me bring it up big, like so. Uh, this is Snowflakes by Tom McDonald. Okay. Let's get into it. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. When they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they screw up pronouns. Cause everyone's a retard these days. Here I'm preaching at the protest that hates is the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less. Wait. Why'd I get confused, y'all? Because what's going on? What version of the video did I pick up? Because... I put on the captions and it seems like the captions are in another language how about I take those off the subtitles I mean um, okay let me take it back just a little bit and here we go warnings used to be on TV for seizures and now they're everywhere to protect millennials feelings he she his him hers them they screw up pronouns because everyone's a retard these days here I'm preaching at the protest that hates is the problem but hating straight men white folks and Christians is common coca-cola telling people they should be less white they preach intolerance but if you disagree they fight there's a race war here elections based on fear black lives only matter once every four years soldiers died for this country and every one of us benefits give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans black folks and white folks divided by the news but we are all the same we are red white and blue ashamed to be american okay that's cool because honestly we are all ashamed of you too y'all are so fake oh no the forecast said that there'd be snowflakes whoa <laughs> i bet he gets a whole lot of flack in the media i'm surprised i haven't heard much about him before um uh, but yeah i bet he gets a lot of flack in the the media because he's saying all the things that a lot of rappers even are afraid to say you know everybody's being all careful about what they say and that's just unheard of that's strange to me um there are some people who are not they have not collected as many birthdays as i have so i remember how things were when everybody could just share their opinion and you know um you wouldn't have to risk being canceled and blase blase all that stuff so yeah this is an unusual artist in that and this is me learning like he says he's independent he's an independent artist so he can say what he chooses to say because see when you i don't know if he has a song like this he has a song called the system um and i'm gonna have to check that out too but it's like when you're dependent upon the system the system meaning um uh hollywood or uh the entertainment industry when you're dependent on that um it's like you you can't offend who you're dependent upon i'll put it like that so it's refreshing to hear an artist that does not have um those things holding them down because then you can just you know get the purity of the true uh, thoughts of the artist so that's what I'm catching here so far let's keep it on going you can make us see it your way no way gasoline and grow more flames oh no no more snowflakes 
They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for. But an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got only fans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. He made me think of something, y'all. <laughs> These poor kids nowadays lord have mercy so you know we live in the day and age of like a lot of reality tv um when i was younger there were actual tv shows where people would you know there was a storyline and and then there was actors and people had their lines and you know and and they they would carry on um um a story an ongoing story um, because it was a series you know it was a TV series and so I noticed that my nieces I've got two little nieces that live with me and they are 10 and 10 and 8 uh, they just had birthdays and um, they sometimes I will put something on my iPad that I'm watching it's an old TV show and I noticed, especially my youngest niece would always ask me, is that real? Is that real? Is that real? I'm like, no, baby, it's just a show. They're just actors. And I'm not saying there's, you know, I'm showing something where there's a lot of violence or something like that. But um, it could be anything. And she's just going, is that real? Is that real? And so and I kept thinking to myself, why is she asking me, is that real? Well, then I realized that the young people of today are so accustomed to reality TV um, because that's just kind of what they get um, as far as social media and all that kind of stuff so if I put on a TV show like Little House on the Prairie or something you know they're kind of confused um, someone you know on the show may die or whatever and they're like are they dead for real no baby this is a TV show they're acting everybody's fine everybody went home that day and they got their paychecks and they're good um so just said all that to say a different mindset is being created and so it's like we have to work a little bit more in order to have the children realize what's real and what's not i'm not saying that's the point that he's trying to make in his song but he just said something that kind of made triggered a thought and it made me think about that so, um, anyway, here we go. Let's go back in. I'm going to take it back a little bit. The future, then our future is bleak. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blur the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. That's some bogus mess. Okay? my deal is this if you're an adult you know do what you want to do live your life how you want to live it okay whatever don't drag me in on it you do you don't drag me in on it number one number two when it comes to sports people like this they should have their own separate groups what in the world happened in this country where a man can pretend to be a woman and and play against women and beat them out and then all of a sudden you know and then they're the big deal why are the feminists not voicing outrage about this because you're right back where you started from feminists wanted to throw off you know male domination okay they want to have their own thing, their own groups, their own sports. You know, okay, that's cool. And we're doing that for years. And now it's right back to male domination in the feminine sports, in the ladies' sports, the women's sports, I should say. You're right back to male domination and you ain't got nothing to say about it? There's a reason for that. I won't get into that here, but just, just just something I was thinking about just just food for thought 
Hey, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. Why you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a perk. By the way, Caucasians are not the only ones that can be racist. No. Not in this day and age. They define it, you know, the weird people. Um, will define racism in such a way that, you know, those that are in power and can implement their power over the inferior race, those are the races. Well, the power is flipping now in this country. So, there are black people that are racist, point blank. And black people are in power. And, you know, and they may implement that, uh, you know, utilize their authority in that way or whatever, whatever the case. It can go back and forth both ways. And it's a trick, y'all. We're being set up. We don't have to fall for it. Okay? We don't have to fall for it. And that's something that I know in my heart, and I'm happy to see that somebody is voicing that truth. And it's being voiced, for instance, in this song. Taking it back a little bit. It's a tough way you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Damn, dog, we're all afraid to speak the truth. And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and propane. More flames. Oh no. No more snowflakes. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Everybody's wrong, that's a real problem. They don't want to hear it, but they still talking. Soon enough, we're running out of options. This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin. We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and probe. More flames. Oh no. No more snowflakes. Is that Nova in the video, y'all? I ain't kidding. Nice song. Thumbs up. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, that was cool, y'all. Um, I'm digging that song. I am now going to pick another one. Y'all have been giving me recommendations, and I greatly appreciate that. Um, so I'm just going down the line on my journey to opening myself up, exposing myself to music that I normally would not listen to. Um, and, you know, just bec becoming acquainted with another genre or whatever, or another artist and other viewpoints. Um, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you next time. Bye.